Hello everyone, um, we've made it to Petra now. It was about, I think about 250 kilometers, that was just a rough guess, to get here from where we were, were before. Um, I've just driven down this mountain again. It wasn't as bad as the last time, but it was still pretty scary. There's actually some goats running down the hill. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some little goats over there. But um, I just want to show you my, my uh, well, this new hotel we're staying in, because it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like it before. But it's these great big, like, sort of domes. Look, it's a very, very hot day today, but I'm gonna just take you through and show you what we've got. It's, it's so, so cool. And sort of big these guys up as well, because um, it's a nice little, nice little site we're at today. And it overlooks all these mountains and stuff. So it's really beautiful. Oh, my doggy. It's a wild dog, that one. You get a lot of wild dogs around here that sort of look after themselves. Yeah, a lot of animals, a lot of nice animals around. Oh, a lot of bugs as well. There's loads of flies buzzing all over me all the time. But yeah, so what it is, we've got these like little pods. I apologize about the wind if there is any. I don't know if there is or not, but um, yeah. All around here, we have these pods that you're in. And lucky for us, we got one right at the front. So we get a real lovely view of all kind of like the mountains and stuff. But tomorrow we're going to be going all the way over there somewhere to Petra. Now, I don't know much about the history of Petra. All, the, all I know basically is the fact it was from the Indiana Jones movie. So we're going to go and see that and I'll learn a bit more about it before I go there. But yeah, we traveled all the way down those cliffs there. You see that road up there? all the way down those and obviously like it looks a lot it looks like a hill but there are some parts where it's just like a complete drop and i swear i suffer from vertigo so it freaks me out big time i'm not going to try to be a mr big man but it, it freaks me out so we are down here somewhere it's, i hope i haven't lost which one we're in I don't think I've seen one of those since the 80s. My mum had one of those, a Vax Hoover. Now, Laura, my wife, is sunbathing at the moment. Um, she's very camera shy, so I have to respect her privacy. And um, I'll cut here and then show you our surroundings and stuff when uh, she's uh, comfortable. So here we are. Oh, crumbs. I don't think this is the one, is it? Yes, it is. I remember these steps. Oops. So, we've got a couple of uh, sun, what, like, what do you call these? Deck chairs, like things. We've also got this that we're going to try out tonight. Um, the jacuzzi. Now, I can't have it open for too long because all the bugs are getting and drown and stuff. We actually saved a load of bugs from the swimming pool yesterday, so we don't know it's happen again. So you've got two bits here. Apparently we can only use these two. I think those two are broken or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good. So sample that tonight. But the main thing really is the view. Check that out. And tonight what we do is we're like we're stargaze and stuff and it's a real clear day because um where we're staying before i think there was a lot of sand in the air or something because it was quite quite uh i don't really know the word not smoggy because it's not smog but smoggy with sand <laughs> and like um you couldn't really see much but it looks really really clear today so hopefully um we will have we will see the stars and stuff and i'll take you in my little take you on our little tent it's uh, it's pretty weird but it's like a it's like a bit like a like a um what do you call them like a bouncy castle but not you sort of open the door here oh, and it's all like inflated so close that door there right okay and then oh my god push it open like that and you've got to make sure that that door is not open otherwise the whole thing will deflate so it's pretty weird so this is our little den it's a bit of a mess at the moment um because we just literally got here and unpacked but it's pretty damn cool so what they do here is they put on a cover and then after like a certain time or something they'll take the cover off and you'll be seeing all the stars and stuff and that sort of thing and i 
I love that sort of thing. I love, uh, I love looking at the stars and wondering what could that be and seeing satellites fly past and all that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to tonight, but also really looking forward to seeing outside as well and sort of uh, just looking out, out. And there's been no light pollution as well, which is the main thing. There's been no light pollution or anything like that. We're right out in the sticks. So uh, it's gonna be a real experience tonight. But tomorrow we're heading to Petra um, and I'm gonna see all that sort of thing. But I think like now I'll shut off and show you how it looked tonight. So they've now like taken this this uh, quilt off the top of our like bubble hotel. So at night, we hope to be able to see all the stars above us. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you on this thing because this thing isn't very good for that sort of stuff. So now the sun is setting. They've taken off the front here as well. So like we've got like a nice view of the sunset. So let me go outside and check that out now. Yeah. So let's go and check out the sunset. It's beautiful. rocks and then I wonder where the moon's gonna come up from I reckon there near the donkey right here we go an end an end of another day in Jordan the Sun has now gone down and uh, we're about to go to bed in our little pod over here I'm gonna pixelate my wife because she doesn't like to be shown on camera and that sort of thing which is fair enough but then they, aren't they cool? They're like little space helmets. So uh, we're going to go and sit in the jacuzzi and uh, use what light we have left to end the day. And tomorrow we're going to be going to Petra. Um, and then from Petra, we're going to a place called Wadi Rum. So that should be interesting too. And staying in another one of these. And over there, I don't know if you can see, but over there, there's these strange flashing lights. It's already quite warm. So let's go, is that one, isn't it? Hey. Right. It's like 5 a.m. now, half past five it is now. And we were kind of waiting for the sunset to come up over there. Last night, uh, we had all the stars coming down and we are watching them all. And it was amazing out here because kind of like if you do that with your eye and look up at the sky you see so much more and like i don't want to over exaggerate at all but it was like looking at like sandpaper there were so many stars it was absolutely incredible i've never seen anything like it before but it was just amazing to know how many stars are up there and there were so many so next time you're out somewhere and there's no light pollution whatsoever do that and focus on one area and you'll see so many more it was unbelievable but the sun will be coming up there soon maybe i don't know <laughs> and um yeah we might get a sunrise but at the moment look at that haze over there it's so nice it's so nice around here but, um yeah like i said today we're going to head off to petra um and follow that road down there past that village through there and then get to Petra but it's gonna be very very hot and we're running out of suntan lotion and we've been to a lot of shops around here and they don't have any so we're kind of a bit concerned about that because it's gonna be unbelievably hot today and in Petra it's all open so it's kind of like you're gonna get burnt have you got anything desert fox hello hello <laughs> here he goes oh well, this is amazing Okay, so last night we made a friend and uh, she's just waiting outside, I think, still. Um, she's very, very nice and she's actually quite stunning as well. So guys, watch out for this one. I think she's still outside. Her name's Molly. Hang on, she should be around somewhere. 
boy. Hello, Molly. How are you? I've got no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. hello. Come on. Then. <laughs> Morning. Hello, Molly. So this is a dog we've named Molly. She's pregnant, and uh, we've recently every every hotel we go to they have buffets. Hello. Yes, you're so lovely, and um, so much food gets wasted, but not today. Melly, <laughs> Molly here is happy as hell with a full belly in two ways, pregnant and full of food, um, because there's just so much food go to waste. And she's actually the most lovely guest here, aren't you? Aren't you? And you're gonna see us off, aren't you? <laughs> you're gonna see us off. I'm, it's, I, I, I love dogs. I worship them. And um, I just couldn't see her go hungry. She probably doesn't go hungry. You know, these the dogs here are very self-sufficient. Self but, um, yeah, it's, it's nice to give them a bit of a bit of food that would normally end up in the bin going to a lovely dog here. So we're off to Petra now. Molly, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you, but I'll never forget you. Hey, I'll never forget you. You take care of yourself. You're probably going to follow me all the way to the car because that's what dogs are like. Unconditional love. And this hill makes me sound very unfit, but I probably am very unfit. Right, on to Petra.